Each Dragon Age game released so far has featured at least one returning character and the upcoming Dragon Age Dreadwolf won't be an exception. In this video, we will delve into the major characters from Dragon Age Origins and explore the possibilities of their return in the new game. To create this video, I have examined where these characters were left in the story, as well as analyzed tweets and interviews from the voice actors, aiming to predict which characters might make an appearance in the upcoming game. However, it's important to note that in most cases, what you are about to hear is speculation. Although it is speculation supported by some evidence, nevertheless, until the game is released or official information is provided, these remain speculations. Before we proceed, there is an important aspect I'd like to address, and that is the concept of quantum characters. If you've been active in Dragon Age communities over the past years, you might have come across statements like, Bioware will not bring back quantum characters. I tried to find the origins of this belief and came across this tweet by Mark Dara, the former executive producer for Dragon Age. Essentially, quantum characters are those whose fates can differ significantly, with the most extreme example being that they are alive in some world states but dead in others. This adds complexity to predicting the potential return of the characters from Dragon Age Origins, since almost anyone can be killed in the first game. Keep this in mind as we continue with the rest of the video. Additionally, please note that this video contains spoilers for the extended media, particularly the books Asunder and The Winter Nights, as well as the comics Those Who Speak. One of the prominent quantum characters is undoubtedly Alistair. In the first game alone, his fate can vary greatly. He can remain a warden, become a king, a drunk, or even die. Dragon Age Inquisition introduced two additional possibilities for his character's fate in the Hero Lies the Abyss quest. Therefore, it may not come as a surprise that Steve Valentine, the voice actor for Alistair, mentioned in an Instagram comment that he won't be returning for Dragon Age Dreadwolf. While it's possible that an NDA might prevent him from openly discussing his involvement in the new game, and that is a possibility for all the actors who will be mentioned, considering the numerous potential fates of Alistair and the actor's comment, it seems quite certain that we won't see Alistair in the upcoming game. Another character who won't be appearing in Dreadwolf, and I must admit this was quite surprising for me, is Morrigan. Claudia Black, the voice actor for Morrigan, confirmed in a tweet that she is not involved with Dreadwolf. Although I highly doubt that Inquisition was the last we've seen of Morrigan, it appears that whatever she's up to, it won't be revealed in the next game. After the events of Dragon Age Origins, Win and Shale had planned to embark on a journey together in search of a way to revert Shale back to her mortal form. While we don't encounter them in the subsequent games, both characters reappear in the novel Asunder, still traveling as companions, with Shale remaining a golem. In the events of the novel, Win transfers the spirit of the fate that had sustained her to another character and ultimately dies in the process, making her the only companion who is canonically deceased, regardless of the player's choices. It's conceivable that Wynne could make a cameo appearance in a similar fashion to Divine Justinia, but it seems more probable that we won't see Wynne again. We are unlikely to see Shale return, but for different reasons. You may have come across this information on Reddit, but if not, I regret to inform you that Geraldine Blacker, the talented voice actor behind Shale, passed away in 2021 at the age of 76. It feels trivial to discuss the return of a fictional character when a real person is no longer with us, so I will just leave it at that. As for Stan, if given the opportunity to stand with the Warden against the Blight, he would return to his people following the Archdemon's defeat. Although we do not see him again in the games, the Those Who Speak comics reveal that he becomes the new Airshock, the leader of the Antam. However, the Winter Knights informs us that the Antam has invaded the Winter, but it seems is now led by Rasan instead of the Airshock, and the fate of the Airshock remains unknown. Furthermore, the Antam has broken away from the Cunari Triumph and is acting independently. This significant shift within Cunari society, coupled with the fact that the Dread Wolf will take us to the Northern Thedas, gives me a strong hope that we may encounter Stan or Airshock once more and learn more about the Antam situation. 
regarding Stan's voice actor Mark Hildreth, during a 2021 interview with the Dragon Age Day YouTube channel, he expressed his thoughts on the matter. Asked whether he would play Stan again if the opportunity arose, Mark responded, I think it would be a lot of fun. Wouldn't it be cool to one day run into Stan again somehow in one of these worlds, see what he has gotten himself into? So, as you can see, the actor didn't actually confirm he would be in the new game, but I, for one, remain hopeful. Among the four potential love interests for the Warden, Zevran is the only one who did not make an appearance in Dragon Age Inquisition. Despite Zevran being a quantum character, his absence in Inquisition and the prominence of the Antivan Crows in the promotional images for Dreadwolf and the extended media could suggest that it's time to see Zevran again. In 2021, the gamer conducted an interview with John Curry, the voice actor for Zevran, and here's what was said in the article. Anyone hoping Zevran might be making a return in the fourth game might be a little disappointed, however. I asked Curry if he was back for Dragon Age 4, expecting the best like response to be no comment and a knowing wink. Instead, he tells me deadpan, well, I died a horrible death in the first one, so no. Since he's yet to begin his playthrough, I apologize for the spoilers and explain to Curry that while Zevran can die, most players manage to keep him alive and that everyone is hoping he returns for the fourth game. Either Curry is an extremely good actor, it is literally his job after all, or he had no idea Zevran returning was an option. Oh, he says, when is it coming out? Based on this article, it seems that John Curry will not be returning for Dreadwolf, indicating that we won't see Zevran again. Furthermore, it's likely that the Inquisitor will also be absent from the fourth game, since John Curry provided one of the voices for the Inquisitor. Now, you may have noticed that I haven't mentioned anything about Liliana, Ogren or Loghain. That's because I haven't found any interviews, tweets or posts confirming or denying their involvement in the upcoming game. Considering the various states their characters can be in, I would say their return is highly unlikely. Perhaps Ogren might have a cameo, but there is simply no information available. However, companions are not the only characters who have the potential to make a comeback. Flemeth has appeared in every game thus far, but will the trend continue in the next game? Kate Mulgrew certainly hopes so. In an interview with Comic Book in 2022, the actor was asked about the possible return of Flemeth and she responded. Tough voice, by the way, a very tough voice. I don't think they've contacted me about that, but I hear the character of Flemeth has enjoyed extraordinary popularity, so I wouldn't be surprised if she will be revived in whatever fashion they think is best. I love doing her, and as I said, it was a singular voice to do. Now, all the talk about quantum characters, I don't think it applies to Flemeth as well. While I wouldn't expect most other characters to return after this scene, this is Flemeth we're talking about. Who knows how many of her horcruxes are scattered around Thedas. And no list of iconic Dragon Age Origins characters would be complete without Bodan and Sandal. Towards the end of Dragon Age 2, Bodan mentioned to Hawk that he and Sandal would be traveling to Orle as Empress Selene herself was interested in Sandal's services. However, whether they actually reached Torlay and the Imperial Court remains a mystery, as these beloved characters did not appear in Dragon Age Inquisition. The only thing related to them that we got was Sandal's diary in Trespasser, which offered no insight into their current whereabouts. Regarding their potential reappearance in Dreadwolf, I couldn't find any information about Bowden, but Yuri Loventhal, the voice actor for Sandal, was asked about the character's possible return by USA Today in 2021. He said, I don't think I'm speaking out of turn, but as far as I know, there's no Sandal in Dragon Age 4. If there is, then it wasn't played by me, because I would have loved to have come back. So it appears that Dreadwolf will be another game without Bowden and Sandal. However, we may still get some new codex entries similar to what we got in Trespasser. As for the Awakening Companions, or rather, the Awakening Only Companions, I couldn't find any information regarding the possible return of Nathaniel, Sigrun or Valana. Anything is possible with them, since we haven't seen them at Adamant, and the recent leaks have shown that we will be heading to Weishaupt. Out of the three, Nathaniel is the only one whose fate is tracked in the Dragon Age Keep, but whether that makes him more or less likely to return, I truly cannot say. Now, speaking of the Awakening characters, what about the Architect? There has been some speculation that he might possess the same ability as Corypheus and therefore cannot be truly killed in Awakening. If that were true, it would make his return more probable since he wouldn't be considered one of the quantum characters. However, I haven't found any information regarding his reappearance. 
Unfortunately, I have no information on Finn and Arian either. When USA Today spoke to Yuri Lowenthal, they didn't ask him about the possible return of Finn, only Sandal. Since the last thing we know about them is that they are traveling together, a cameo is a possibility, but there is no confirmation at this time. And there's one more very important character I haven't mentioned yet, who many would like to see return. And that character is, of course, the hero Feralden. So, will we see the Warden again? Most likely, no. Bioware already considered bringing back the Warden for Dragon Age Inquisition. Originally, the choice in the Fade would have been between your Hawk and your Warden, but it proved difficult to implement. The Warden could be dead in many world states, and there was no feasible way to choose a voice for the Warden that would please all players. As a result, the Warden was not featured in Inquisition, and those problems still persist. The topic of the Warden's return has been heavily discussed over the years. In 2017, someone posted a question on Reddit, and Mike Lightlaw, the former creative director and lead designer for Dragon Age, provided a very unambiguous response. In addition, I think it's important to note that Origins was about sacrifice. It was a story in which literally everyone gave something up to stop something horrible. One of those options was the hero of Ferelden giving up their lives to stop that horrible thing, and frankly, a lot of people took it. Now fast forward to a theoretical moment where the hero of Ferelden plays a major role in a future game. Suddenly, your sacrifice feels like it was the wrong choice, no? Well, it wasn't. It was a perfect ending to the core themes of Origins. So with that, plus the many, many complications it would take to even get the hero of Ferelden into a future game, due to multiplicity of Origins, lack of voice and hundreds of options to account for, plus the fact that I firmly believe it would not live up to expectations unless we poured so many resources into it, it would damage the rest of the game's potential, it's not happening. I know this upsets people, but better I be clear about it. Again. As you can see, Mike's response leaves no room for speculation. While it's true that Mike has departed the company since then, it is unlikely that Bioware's stance on the Warden's return has changed. Regarding the Warden's search for the cure, I imagine we may get some closure, possibly in the form of a codex entry or a conversation, ideally a DLC centered around the Warden as a protagonist and their search for the cure would be fantastic, but it remains a fantasy. The complications surrounding the Warden's return would be too numerous to overcome. Most likely, the hero of Ferelden will be mentioned and that will be the extent of their involvement. Out of all these characters, if I had to choose one I think is most likely to return, I would pick Stan. He did not appear in Dragon Age 2 or Inquisition and he is currently in the north where the next game will take place. Therefore, it would make the most sense to encounter him. But what are your thoughts? Who do you think will be back? Whom you would like to see again? Tell me in the comments. Also, if I miss some key information, please tell me that as well. I wish you all a wonderful day. Goodbye.